Hi guys, thanks for watching my channel. I'm Caroline and today I wanted to do a planner update. According to my planner, August 1st is National Planner Day, so I wanted to do a walkthrough and show you what's different from when I first featured this planner, the Louis Vuitton MM Personal Size Agenda. I received this as a gift from my fiance Anthony. It was in celebration of me graduating from grad school. And I actually saw a meme that the worst purchase of 2020 is a planner. But I got this in 2019, so we're all good. <laughs> so I am just gonna talk you through this, pop in some close-ups where appropriate. Again, this is my LV MM agenda in the personal size, and I really do take personal very seriously. I only use this as my personal agenda. All my work stuff is digitized. Hopping right in, this is about seven and a quarter inches this way, about five, five and a quarter, five and a half inches this way, depending on the strap and how full you have it. And you know, one and a half, one and a quarter, up to two inches, depending on how fat you have it. But right in the front here, I do have a different dashboard. I wanted to try out something new. I just love all the different styles and everything that you can get with these. You can get them from Amazon, from Etsy. This one I believe it got from Etsy. I will link it if it's still available. This says the force is strong with this one. It looks like it has typos but it's just the typeface. To go along with that I do have these little Star Wars planner clips. They're felt and I got them from Etsy. They are so cute. Planner clips are so freaking adorable. I have R2, his little friend BB-8, a little Yoda and or I guess this could be the child from the Mandalorian because he's so cute and little I love him and I have a stormtrooper I love planner clips they are essentially useless <laughs> in the sense that they don't really serve a function for me because I just keep them at the front here for decor but in theory you could use them because they are paper clips you can use them as bookmarks I don't know if I should just stick to talking with the planner that I'm using and then go to my secondary planner or talk about them at the same time. I kind of feel like I should talk about them at the same time because the secondary planner is super boring. Essentially what's in my secondary planner is this little plastic pouch here full of my other planner clips. I got all of these from Etsy. A lot of them are from the same seller. I'll link it down below but I have Halloween themed ones and I have this one which is so cute it is this little kind of pink felt frappuccino from starbucks i don't even drink frappuccinos and i just think it's so adorable and little like mickey coffee cups i love it i miss disneyland so much you guys i miss it so so much. Anyway, I also in this planner, I just have my old dashboard. If I get more dashboards, I would have them in here as well. Kind of my old dividers and spare paper. So like my spare note paper, spare calendar pages, and some new uh, Filofax finance pages. So this kind of just holds all the stuff that is not in my personal planner but it is for my personal planner. The more I talk about it, the crazier I feel about having a planner for my planner. <sighs> Let's go back to my planner. <laughs> so again, this is my dashboard and it did come with these really adorable Star Wars themed tabs. The first area here is really what I use as far as personal planning. It is a weekly style agenda because I had these old Sanrio Bad Bad Smaru pages and I didn't want them to go to waste. So they were, you know, the write-in numbers. Ideally, I would just have one with the numbers written in, but I do take some pleasure, you know, every few months or so, I'll write in new months. Right now I have this going through October of 2021 because I am looking forward with hope and optimism that there will be fun, fun things to plan in 2021. A lot of people have mourned 2020 as being a waste or it's canceled. It's been a rough year. 
it's been a rough one, but I'm thinking of it as when 2021 hits, bam, that year is going to fly. You know, 2021 is going to be the bomb. I also wanted to point out this little bookmark that I have from Etsy. You can get them customize with up to five letters I believe. They also have ones that say generally today, week, month. I went ahead and I cut mine so that I can go ahead and pull it out really easily and flip it to the next day and it really it works well so far. I only have to switch it every couple weeks because I do have the weekly setup. I think that I like the one week per page setup. Again, I use this for my personal planning and as a result, I'm not writing a lot in each little section. I don't typically double or triple book things. So if I have one dinner, I kind of just write it in the bottom half of the day and if I have a morning appointment or something I can fit that in as well. It's usually not an issue where I can't fit my appointments in these little lines here. What I have next in this adorable tab is wedding planning stuff. So I'm linking that wedding planning video down below. We are going forward planning as though we'll be able to have the date that we had in mind for 2021. Obviously there are a lot of things in the air, but we're moving forward. I write down kind of a checklist and I've organized the checklist by cron. I don't want to put too much out there just because there is some personal information in my checklist, but this is where the checklist goes. And so organize it by cron. So for example, if things are, you know, if things need to happen by a certain amount of time, the invitations need to go out by a certain date, the uh, save the dates, buying my wedding dress needs to go at a certain date. All of that is organized by cron and that is how I organize my checklist. I have also put in little sketches of our centerpieces just so I have an idea because it is a multi object centerpiece and we're having different centerpieces on different tables in theory and so I just wanted to get kind of a visual. In the next section is all the planning that I do for this channel. So let me go ahead and show you. I also have a little custom bookmark that says classes. I found a use for these month pages and this might change if and when I start customizing my own pages if I can find a hole puncher that I like a new one that's heavier duty so I can do multiple pages at once but I went ahead and I kind of highlighted this was <laughs> I highlighted this back when I was posting on a more regular schedule and I was trying to post every Friday so I highlighted the Friday things have changed. I'm trying really hard to get back to posting on the same day every week. Right now it's kind of been on weekends. I'm trying guys. <laughs> but what I do is I use a little post-it in the corner of the month and I kind of plan out the ideas that I have for that month. So in December, if I'm gonna do a Christmas video, I'd write 25 Christmas. And as I go ahead and film and upload, that is when I actually write it in the little boxes. It just helps me visualize and think about my channel as a user, as a viewer would, as you guys would, please subscribe. And it allows me to kind of see, you know, am I doing too many shoe videos in a row? Am I doing too many of these in a row? Do I need to alternate? And oh, I almost forgot, like, the most important thing about this planner is my Muji erasable pen. I love my Muji pen. I love it so much. So I've used other brands. I've used the Pilot Friction. The Muji one is my favorite. I just can't get past that. And unfortunately, they apparently do not sell the Muji erasables in... The US. Apparently it's only international. You can get them on Amazon, so I would stock up. The very first Muji erasable pen that I got, I got in 2012, and it still works. Granted, I wasn't using it every day, 
I'm sure it would have run out of ink at some point if I was using it that often. But my point is saying, you know, eight years later, the ink still runs. The ink has not dried up out in and of itself. It still erases. I love it. It's amazing. Stock up on this stuff because it is so good. So I love erasable pens. The thing about erasable pens is that the more and more you erase, the paper gets worn. And so that's why I kind of use this post-it system so that if I am erasing and the paper gets too worn, I can replace the post-it note. The next section I have here is called the money section according to my little bookmark here. I have a second section with this little month bookmark and it has the same finance pages. Why do I have two finance sections? The first one called money is for my annual spending. So every year I have a budget for all the money I wanna spend on gifts and all the money that I wanna spend on discretionary things like bags and shoes and fun stuff like clothes. That is in my personal fund and that I calculate on an annual basis. So I have you know X amount of money to spend on these categories every year and as I go ahead and spend that, I'll go ahead and I'll minus it. I love these file facts pages. They're very good about being able to plan that because you can subtract, you can balance it. This brings you back to the olden days of balancing your checkbook. And obviously there are, I'm sure, apps and digital ways to do this and Excel. I like having it written out because it's fun. I and. I can use my planner for something. The last section is really just blank paper for notes. I kind of write in ongoing chores. You know, ongoing chores would be clean out the closet, try on all your skirts, um, pack up boxes. And things that I would have to track would be things like returns. Like I sent in this return, it's been two weeks, I haven't gotten a confirmation, do I need to follow up on it? And in the very, very back, I have, someone once told me what this thing is called. I kind of just call it my reverse dashboard since it's the dashboard in the back. I went ahead and I stuck post-it notes of different sizes and colors so that I always have access to them and it also serves as kind of a stiff backing for all the pages. It helps turn the pages. I don't normally keep a lot of things in here. What is this? These are some instructions for something or other and that's my planner. I love it. I still use it and it makes me happy. If you made it this far in the video, please leave the phrase Baby Yoda in the comments down below so I know that you made it this far and you watched it all the way through. Thank you so much for planning with me and until next time, bye!